Today we're going to repair this cutting head, Pro Cut, 15 kilowatt a day. We need a dust-free cabinet. First, the workbench is vertical air supply. Second, its wind speed should reach 0.45 meters per second. The maximum accepting floating dust particles is 160 micrometer. The third, check all these tools we need. A dust canister, compressed air, absolute ethanol, it must be above 99.7% or even higher. Red light laser pen, masking paper, and a dedicated pro cut tool. And static gloves or finger cuts, polymating and focusing lenses, cut and swabbles, medium and large. There are also dust free clothes. This is also a special wrench tool. This is a cutting head that we are serving today as stated before this maintenance. See, the cutting head is dirty. The first step is to remove the floating dust on the surface. Use this air compressed can, cleaning up gaps in critical parts, especially the position of the particular window and the position between the lower particular mirror. Cleaning up, deep clean. Cleaning is basically removing dust from the surface. Deep clean. It's now cleaned up. Okay, let's check it with the red light laser pen. Approximate the condition of the internal lens. We power up the red light laser pen, turn off the light first. Probably see there is a lens contamination in the light. There are several bombed black spots. This lens is fitted properly. What if the lens is reversed? Or if that's the case, or if the lens does not match? We can also take a look at if this focus is normal. This is basically a position with a zero focus. Pull out the protective drawer first. These are the still black spots showing on this red light spot. So the protective lens is not the main region. When protecting the drawer, it is placed sideways to stand up. So when I put it out, the dust will not fall into the cavity. Clean up again. Clean and the dust and floating dust on the surface. Remove the mirror module inside. You can clearly see that there is a burnt spot on this. Let's take another look at the culminating and the focus lens. The shadow described the internal cutting head is definitely problematical. Of course, after we remove the protective window, the protective window should be replaced in time. Replace the protective window. Last, remove the collimator and the focus lens and replace it. Do a deep cleaning of the inner wall. If the protective lens is replaced, just unscrew this screw after putting the lens on, then put it back on. When replacing the protective windows, this head is best at vertical, this way, to avoid a secondary pollution of the cutting head. Then we can extract. Pack the new cotton swab. Large and small cotton swabs are fine. Dip into an alcohol. Protect the lens from dust and dirt. Clean up, be careful. Clean up all the dust inside, including the edge part of the drawer. Do a deep cleaning. Let's take off the cover first, then clean the cover. Everything that floating dust must be cleaned, and put this aside, then to clean up the dust from inside. Finally, we have a motor connection wire here. This is our motor and the circuit board. When we disassemble, we must first dial up this motor connection wire. Reuse cut and swab to help. Fix it again here. Then we can remove the lens inside. When we take out this connector, must pay attention. Motor must be centered. You can take it out, otherwise it will get stuck. So we have to turn it to the right place. Take it out. We observe the contamination of lenses. The lens is heavily soiled and the lid should be replaced. Then we put this cover plate in time, cover to prevent dust from entering. It can be fixed with two screws or stick it with that masking paper. Now stick it with masking paper so it doesn't fall. Then we take out the straw, take it down. Use dedicated pro cutter tool to turn this aside. Take it down. Next, we replace the lens. If there are floating dust on the surface, which is just installed, use a little tiger blowing the dust on them. Clean up, put again. Reinstall the collimation module. Let's take off the cover first, then clean the cover. Everything that floating dust must be cleaned. And put this aside, then to clean up the dust from inside. Finally, we have a motor connection wire here. 
This is our motor and circuit board. When we disassemble, we must first dial up this motor connection wire. We use cut and swap to help. Fix it again here. Then we can remove the lens inside. When we take out this connector, must pay attention. The motor must be centered. You can take it out. Otherwise, it will get stuck. So we have to turn it to the right place. Take it out. When we observe the contamination of lenses, the lens is heavily soiled and needs to be replaced. Then we put this cover plate in time, cover to prevent dust from entering. It can be fixed with two screws or stick it with that masking paper. Now stick it with masking paper so it doesn't fall. Then we take out the straw, take it down. Use dedicated pro cutter tool to turn this aside. Take it down. Next, we replace the lens. If there are floating dust on the surface, which is just installed, we use a little tiger blowing the dust on them. Clean up, put again. Reinstall the collimation module. Same way, make sure this motor is centered, otherwise it will be stuck and cannot be put in. Tighten it with the screw first. Finally, pull the border's connections wires back. Dial down to lock. So our last step is to put this cover, put it back. Be careful not to get stuck on the sides. It would be better to power on and off after assembly. See if there are any abnormality in his indicator light. Then use mobile monitoring software to lock in, check if the problem is still there. If necessary, you can use a red light laser pen to go the same as our first step just now. To check if his focal lens is normal, if the light is normal, finally, after checking the whole cutting head, finish our maintenance. Thanks for watching.